Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. Today I'm back again to discuss a sample problem on Spearman rank correlation. So I'll share my screen with you. So here is the problem on Spearman co coefficient of rank correlation. A survey shows that eight couples spent the following amounts on clothing. Okay. Determine the Spearman coefficient of rank correlation, RS, between the husband and wife's ratings. So we are trying to find a correlation of the ranks between the husband and wife's rating. At alpha equal to 0 0.05, Rs, which is the Spearman rank correlation coefficient, differs significantly from zero. So first, we rank them, the husband and wife separately. Here we are ranking them separately. Okay, so. Uh, first, you look at the husbands, there are three 230s. So they consume the rank of one, two, and three. So one plus two is three, three plus three is six, divided by the three numbers. The average rating six divided by three is two for all the 230s. That is why you have three 230s in husband and they all got a ranking of average rank of two. So one, two, three are gone. The next number in husband is 240, it gets a ranking of four. The next one is 250, it gets a rank of five. And then there are two 300s, which consume the rank of six and seven. Six plus seven is 13, 13 divided by two is 6.5. Similarly, we rank the wife's spending separately. The lowest is 180, which gets a rank of one. Next is 320, gets a rank of two. Next one is 375, gets a rank of three for the wife and so forth. Okay, then we find the difference in the corresponding ranks between husband and wife. For example, the first difference between husband and wife is 6.5 minus four, which is 2.5. The next one is four minus three, four rank for the husband, three for the wife, four minus three is one. The next one is two minus one is one and so forth, okay? And the fourth ranking is actually five minus five, zero. The fifth ranking is two minus six is minus four, okay? And the next one is 6.5 minus eight is minus 1.5 and so forth. Then we take the square of the differences. So 2.5 squared is 6.25, one square is one and so forth. Minus four squared is minus four times minus four is 16. Similarly, minus 1.5 squared is 2.25. Then we find the sum of the squares in the difference, sum of the squares in difference of the ranks as 27.5. The formula for Spearman rank correlation coefficient is Rs equal to one minus six, sum of the squares in differences divided by N times N square minus one. Uh, so sum of the, so our formula for Rs becomes one minus six multiplied by sum of the squares in differences, which is 27.5 divided by N is eight, multiplied by eight square minus one, which is 64 minus one, which is 63. So RS Spearman rank correlation coefficient is 0.673 from the sample data. Now we test, want to test the null hypothesis rho S. Rho is a Greek symbol. It is the population correlation coefficient is equal to zero. That is, there is no rank in the population, uh, no rank correlation in the population and the alternate Rho is not equal to zero. Now from the critical values for rank correlation coefficient table for alpha equal to 0 0.05 and N equal to eight are minus 0 0.738 and 0 0.738 because this is a two-tailed test. Remember our null is Rho is equal to zero, alternate Rho is not equal to zero. Rho is 
smaller in Greek language, it's symbols. It is a Greek symbol, so it indicates population correlation coefficient. And because it is a two-tailed test, we have to take the critical value and have two critical values. One is negative and one is positive because it's a two-tailed test. Now notice our RS calculation, calculated RS value from the sample data, 0.673 falls between minus 0.738 and 0.738. Therefore, decision do not reject 80. And the conclusion is at alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is not enough evidence to support HA. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, please subscribe to my channel because I get back every week with new problems. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.